here an updated look of the Travis Scott and Fragment Nike Air Jordan 1s that are due to come out very, very soon. And I only featured them just because I was thinking, you know what? I'm kind of getting fed up of watching and just viewing all this stuff from afar and seeing all these amazing limited edition shoes that are due to come out, especially when I'm, no, more likely than not, I'm not going to be able to get my my hands on them myself. I'm just not going to be able to get them, especially not for retail. Um, they're going to be fairly difficult to get a hold of. I'm going to have to, you know, enter a raffle for the privilege to pay for these with my hard-earned money, which kind of goes against everything that I've grown up to know what a raffle is. You know, when you grew in school, you'd enter a raffle, you'd buy a bunch of tickets for a pound, and then you might win a TV, a computer console, a bike, stuff that's way that's worth way more than your ticket, right? That was my whole concept of about a raffle but now nowadays with sneaker culture they've redefined what a raffle means and raffle basically means you get a chance to buy something that you really want but more likely than not you're not going to get a chance to buy it it's flipping insane um, and most of these companies are using these raffles as an opportunity to just you know get loads of contacts on their email list and they can send you shitty newsletters about stupid stuff going on sale like it's just a whole bag of nonsense and i think these shoes have kind of triggered me if you can say the least, right? They're amazing, beautiful shoes, right? They're kind of like an updated um, fusion of the Fragment uh, Jordan ones that I have, the black toed ones with the, you know, Fragment logo on the back. And then they've kind of t imbued some of the um, learnings and key style motifs of the, you know, Travis Scott Jordan ones with the swoosh on the outside. It's kind of flipped the other way around, basically backwards, right? So it's a beautiful shoe. And then it's got the kind of sail or the kind of off-white midsole. The top of the shoe looks like it's tumbled leather. So after a period of time, it'll look fucking beautiful and just kind of been worn in. You've got here some print there on the midsole, similar to other bits and pops you've seen from Fragment Design and the School of Hiroshi Fujiwara. So they're a delightfully beautiful shoe. Objectively, maybe one of the better Jordans I've seen, especially when you think that it's very rare that you see a Jordan 1 mock-up, especially... No, a Jordan 1 mock-up with that level of like blocking usually they kind of go for the standard paneling where it's like the mud guard uh the back panel you know all one color and then the toe box another color you know what i mean the standard kind of way right everything kind of looks like a backboard sort of variation whereas this is like majority white on the outside and you've got this amazing sliver of blue on the inside you've also got the idea that i, I was thinking anyway that these will look actually pretty decent with loads of variations of different color laces because of that massive basically blank canvas you've got the white there in the middle so they're a really really amazing shoe and i'm sure there's going to be some great bits of you know gear and merch associated with them but it's just hard to get excited with these for these actually when you know you're just not going to get them right you know the only way you're going to get them is if you go and call up the old chinese factories right that's the only way you're going to actually get these shoes if you start representing rep fam but if you want to actually purchase them with your hard-earned bucks go to a place like i don't know foot patrol nike store good hood wh where whoever's going to end up selling these right um essence and whatever you're not going to get them and i don't even know how many entries these guys get per like look how beautiful that is look at that angle with the swoosh backwards stitched on the outside that looks fucking bad that looks sick that looks like something you'd wear there on a daily basis right they've got the little um tooling stamp here on the side like really 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 well done you've got this as well double logo in the back you know that these are going to go for a, when they slap these sort of things in there you know they're going to go for millions amounts of money in it they're going to go for a lot a lot of money maybe fat not millions definitely thousands but on the back of the hill so usually on the fragment jordan ones the the little fragment logos on the side here but instead on these ones they basically put them right at the back of the hill with um what you got travis scott's uh cactus jack logo there too like they look absolutely beautiful right there's no denying it but again like i said it's hard to get excited for these things because am i ever going to get a pair for retail probably not probably not there's some more pictures of them as well like look how nice these look with the white blocking look at they've got these little they've got a label here on the side this is again is another these things are just going to increase the value right because it clearly says this is a fragment design collaboration it's got the cactus jack sign uh, logo there on the other shoe as well um it'd be cool if they had like the the tongue label on one says cactus but then the the stamp at the back of the hill says fragment that'd be pretty cool right flip it on either side but they look great like i said they're gonna look incredible with um different color laces especially because they've got the, that entire white bit here 
um, for the tongue and then of course this big uh, blue toe box and of course most of the white bits on the side they look great once they're laced up but I don't know maybe it's just me what do you guys think do you, do you get excited for shoes like this anymore when you know you can't buy them um, or do you just put yourself through punishment like I do just enter as many raffles as you can and hope your card gets uh, charged <laughs> one way shape or form either you end up with five Five pairs of shoes that are all limited that you're going to be happy with or you end up with none and you get L after L after L email. Sometimes you don't even get an email to notify you lost. That's what even hurts. Fair enough, you don't always get the shoe, but sometimes you don't even get emails to let you know you don't get a shoe. You just It just goes into thin air. It's like sending a job application sometimes. It's just like, whoo, it goes into deep space. You don't hear anything back. It's just annoying. It really is. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me.